Hey guys, what's up? My name is Shoulder Salt. Um, I'm actually at school right now, but anyway, I hope the sound is okay. Um, the sound might be a bit crap because I'm in a classroom. Anyway, welcome to my Double Programming series. In this video, we're going to be learning how to use bit buttons. So, yeah, let's begin. Here's our form. Let's go save it. Desktop. PC. I really hope the sounds, the audio is okay in this video. Anyway, new folder, bit in component. Yeah, that's fine. Call this unit unit home, and let's call it bit in component. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Is Name it the bit uh, btn in component. Yeah, let's rename the form's name to frm home. So, what is a bit button? Bit button is basically the same as a button, like this is a button, and here is a bit button. So, basically the same, except the difference is one of them can have a picture on it which I'll show you guys now now let's first create a GUI let's make something, let's put an edit component in it align it to top let's change the font size to 25 oh no it has to be 20 Mm, it's 25, I don't, don't know, 16, yeah, let's leave it 16. Let's add a normal button. Let's make it like this, okay. Let's change the button font size to 20. 20, oops, my numb looks off, 20. Let's name it to display not main change the caption let's name it to btn display let's add a label to the form label we align it to top oops not let's not line to top because you haven't yet learned margins which we'll learn soon let's just change the caption to 20, no, let's have 18 also, and let's just leave the label right here, remove the caption, and call it LBL display. Now, let's write, no, let's add a bit button, so this is basically a bit button, bit button is going to have pictures on them which I'll show you guys also for instance you can change the kind here's kind, you can have your own custom one but we're going to be making this one we try, it automatically shows us, shows us a bitmap image change the size to 20 let's copy and paste the button so we have two bit buttons but we'll make this one a kind of close so the close bit button doesn't need any code for instance if you compile and you click on the close bit button it will automatically close the form for us let's change the cursors of the buttons to hand point okay let me first show you guys how to add your own image so basically just this live um, property, you change it and here you can load your own image into it. For instance, uh, I'm not really sure where I have images on my computer. I should have somewhere. Um, let's see if I can find some images on my PC. So, oh, here it is. For instance, I can load this bitmap image onto the bit button. As you guys can see, it has an image on it and it has a normal caption. Basically, the yeah, let's just leave that for now. This is a bit button, that's basically what bit buttons are. 
we're going to be using these ones. Let's write some code to make this application actually work. Display LBL. We have learned, we have already learned this. Let's combine variables into this so we can practice a bit also. Variables data. This is a string component, not a string variable. We said dot dot equals to. Um, did I rename this? No, I did not. This should be edt um, input. Now that I think about it, um, put buttons are usually not it's really named put buttons to something else. Uh, let's call it bm no bmb bitmap button. You try and bmb close. Data colon equals or assigned operator to edt input dot txt and if you compile now, let me show you guys. If you compile now, it will display it. Oops, I must press into something. It will display my name and surname in the label. Why doesn't it display it in the label? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Just shows I forgot to. Okay, lbl display dot caption colon equals data okay, so we put it into the variable and then the variable we put into the labels caption I'm really wor worried about the sound hopefully this sounds okay anyway it displays it displays it but doesn't remove it so let's remove it so after it is displayed it must clear the the oops the air components takes so you can clear it two ways like this so you basically just set it to nothing or we can just say edt input dot clear or we can say edt input dot text dot dot oh that's work okay i think this the text dot clear is for parameter so you can clear it in two ways these are two ways you can clear it now when we submit something such as this we we'll automatically clear but then we after we've clicked display we can automatically start typing now we have to click on the add component again so let's write the code so that automatically um can start typing again edt input dot set focus so set focus procedure just just basically allows us to start typing imme immediately already already we type something Display and we can start typing again. So now we want to click on the try, it will basically clear these two labels, label and the editor component. So let's write the code for the retry button. ET input dot clear as well as LBL display dot caption colon equals nothing. Let's test our other program. Display, you can start typing again and retry works and boom, close also works. Let's just align it to the middle as we as I like to do. Position desktop center. That's it for this video guys. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And hope the sound is okay. Um, I'll see you in the next video guys.